Hello YouTube, right, I'm going to show you a uh, an app and that is Six Axis Controller by Dancing Pixel Studios. As it says uh, in the description of the app, it's not for the faint hide. Um, you do need root. I'm not going to explain how to do that. You'd need to go onto XDA Developers or um, the Synergen Mod uh, website if to see if your phone is rootable. Most are, to be fair. And in fact, I'm not sure of any that that aren't. I'm sure there will be some. Um, yeah, so you need root for this app, and basically it mimics a PlayStation uh, six-axis controller, and you can connect it to your phone, to your Android phone. Um, Average of four out of six out of five. I mean, there's a lot of people that doesn't work. It doesn't work. But these people need to to understand that, it, like it says, there's a checker, there's a website that you can check at six axis compatibility checker. It says on here, and you can go on and you can basically find out if if your phone is suitable, and the app will tell you. Uh, you also need to download something on your PC to calibrate your PlayStation pad. Um, that's not too hard, and, it, and the app itself tells you how to do that. Or you can go on the website, and, and that has a video tutorial, so I'm not going to go into that. Um, but yeah, basically, this, this, is, this is a lovely app um, that allows you to map your PlayStation pad to your phone. So I'm going to briefly show you, uh, how, you know, how, it, how it works. Basically... Um, you go into your preferences and your touch profiles. Then from in here, you can change your background. Now I've already taken a screenshot. Um, now I use Cyanogen Mod 7, and it is compatible with that. You you would you would have to check, um, you know, if your ROMs are. But this has a built-in screenshot feature. This ROM, so you can use like screenshot ER I think there are some that you don't require root I'm not sure what they're called I mean generally because I use root I don't really look into uh, non root possibilities really um, but anyway yes yeah, so you can edit your background you can see it's the wrong way so I can rotate that and there we go so we've we've got the the basic premise to what's on the screen obviously there are a lot more other controls you take your own screenshots and you, you can do that yourself anyway so um, you can then go to add buttons, so we'll go square, uh, square is normally jump, so we'll put square on top of the jump on the screen, um, circle, we'll put circle on there, like that, um, and cross, I believe would be run, and, and so on, and you just add all your controls that you want, you got your, your analog left, which would be down here, and and you know from in there you can change your sensitivity and you know there's a lot of options within this so you'd obviously have to take a bit of time to to calibrate but basically um, this is what it it ends up looking like so you've got your look you walk in each you know each for in in and out of vehicles there's different buttons do different things so I've I mean I've gone through it and I've mapped all all the correct buttons into here so when I play GTA you know it, it works a treat um, so basically once you've done that you then save it as a profile um, as you can see I mean I've got a few of the modern combat Nova 2, Brothers in Arms um, 9mm I've mapped all these all 9mm I'm having a few issues with um, so it doesn't work perfectly with all games um, but yeah, it, it you know it it does work really well. So basically, um, I don't need to save that because I've already got it. So I'll come out of there, and you hit start, and it tells you it's it's now running. It's trying to make a connection now. If I, that's where it gets awkward. Sorry guys, I'm trying to stand my uh, pad up there. It's, it's going to fall. Isn't it basically, um, if I now get my controller in and press the PlayStation button. You'll see client connected, so it's now it can see my pad. And basically, what I'll do here, I'm just going to put the camera down. Let's raise you up a little bit, like that. Um, what I do on my, I've got a, a keyboard. If 
put my PlayStation pad. Um, so I'll get a little bit of white tack here. Now my phone's the Optimus 2X, so it's not the biggest screen. I mean, I know the Galaxy is slightly bigger, so how well this would work with the Galaxy, I don't know. But you see, I put a little bit of white tack on on the pad here, and then you can push the phone up against it. So as you can see, I've now essentially got a, a mini handheld. Um, right, so if I change my profile to GTA 3. And we'll load GTA 3. Just skip the intros. So I've got my look and you can walk, run, everything works perfectly as, as I mean I've mapped this as it would have been on the PlayStation 2 and then and, and this works absolutely perfectly as well I mean there's no, the, the, the driving in cars can be a little bit glitchy um, but it's nothing that you can't deal with. My only issue, I've just done the paramedic missions, uh, and that was a bit of a pain with the oversteer. But I mean, once you get used to it, it's an amazing app. And for a pound nine, I think I paid for it with a day. Um, you know, you're not, you're not going to get much better. It, it makes playing games on Android phones an absolute joy. Oh, a bit too close to shoot her. Uh, oh, what's happening there? What was with the high, the high pitched voice? Right, hang on, I'm being there. Uh, I can't actually believe I'm being beaten up by a granny. So, yeah, I mean, you get the gist now, and oh, here we go, a bit more, a bit more violence here. bit of that car so yeah well, there you go um six axis controller gta looks uh, an absolute double uh, i hope you've enjoyed this uh, video and uh, and thanks for watching